In this video, we will look at how to compute the time complexity of three nested for loops. We will focus on the number of times the primitive operations are performed by an algorithm to compute the time complexity. Let us look at the pseudocode of this algorithm which computes the multiplication of matrix A and matrix B and store the result in matrix C. So we have the parameters A, B and C which are the matrices and the parameters n, m and p where n and m are the number of rows and columns of matrix A and m and p are the number of rows and columns of matrix B and the result matrix C will have n as the number of rows and p as the number of columns. This is because multiplying matrices needs to follow the rules of matrix multiplication. Now let us look at the pseudocode of this algorithm. The first statement is the for loop for i 1 to n. This statement will execute for n plus 1 times. Then the statements inside the for loop of i will execute for n times. But we have an inner for loop inside the outer for loop and this inner for loop of j will itself execute for p plus 1 times. So actually the for loop of j will execute for n multiplied by p plus 1 times. Then the statements inside the for loop for j will execute for p times. The statement c of i comma j is a primitive statement so it takes unit time. But since the statement c of i comma j is inside the for loop for j and is also inside the outer for loop for i so actually this statement will execute for n multiplied by p times. Then we have another statement inside the for loop for j which is a for loop for k which itself will execute for m plus 1 times. So actually the for loop for k will execute for n multiplied by p multiplied by m plus 1 times. And the statement inside the for loop of k will execute for m times. But since this statement is inside the for loop for j as well as inside the for loop for i, therefore the statement which computes c of i comma j will actually execute for n multiplied by p multiplied by m times. Now the step count of the entire algorithm will be n plus 1 plus n multiplied by p plus 1 plus n multiplied by p plus n multiplied by p multiplied by m plus 1 plus n multiplied by p multiplied by m which is 2n multiplied by p multiplied by m plus 3n multiplied by p plus 2n plus 1. Now the number of operations needed to execute an algorithm is represented as a runtime function f of n. So the runtime function f of n of this algorithm is 2n multiplied by p multiplied by m plus 3n multiplied by p plus 2n plus 1. Now generally when we have more than one parameter or more than one variable in a polynomial for example in this function we have n, m and p. Then we reduce the analysis to just one parameter by assuming and considering m and p is equal to n. So by replacing m as n and also p as n we have the function 2n cube plus 3n square plus 2n plus 1 which is a cubic polynomial since the degree of the leading term of this polynomial is n power 3. Therefore we say that the runtime function or the time complexity for this algorithm using three nested for loops is cubic.